Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing some cards I made using Paper Roses Underwater Adventure 6x6 Paper Collection. There are 18 double-sided papers concluded in this collection and several of them have a bunch of cut apart images and also sentiments. We'll also be using their Watercolor Whimsy Collection. This is an A5 size paper collection. Since the patterns in the 6x6 collection are fairly busy, I wanted to bring in some muted patterns so it'll tone down that busyness. For my first card, I'm using a card sketch from Call Me Crafty Al. It's the August 2021 sheetload of cards. And I will share all of the sketch information over on my coordinating blog post. That link is provided in the description box below. So for this first card, I'm using two of the watercolor whimsy papers. I have this blue paper for the background, layering it on some dark blue cardstock. I have this adorable turtle pattern paper. This is my favorite paper in the whole collection. Layering that on the same blue cardstock. I'll put my card front onto a card base. And for this card, I won't have any of the white card base showing. I'm also not following the sketch measurements exactly. Instead of the fourth of an inch for those matted layers, I switched it to an eighth of an inch. I prefer the thinner layer, but if you like that wider matted layer, you can definitely use that fourth of an inch. For that small rectangle, I used some more of that watercolor whimsy paper, this time in orange, layered it on some orange cardstock, and then I'll be adding a stitched oval die cut. And I used some white shimmer cardstock for that, just for a little extra detail on the card. I'll adhere it using some liquid adhesive. As I mentioned earlier, there are lots of image cut aparts included in the collection. There's also one sheet of sentiment and image cut aparts. So I've just fussy cut these out using a pair of scissors. I'll be adding a row of the underwater plants, the very lower portion of this orange rectangle. Some of the plants I did pop up with some thin foam squares and the others I'll just glue down directly. I selected plants in the same color as that turtle pattern paper. There's a lot of other colors in this paper collection. And I'm trying to mix and rotate the different styles and colors of each of the plants. On this orange plant all the way to the right, just the very right side leaf goes off of the edge. So I am adding just a thin foam square behind that piece. So remove the release paper on this larger little leafy plant. Don't know the name of underwater plants at all. I'll also be adding two of the turtles. There are three different sizes on the cut aparts and I chose the largest two. For the sentiment on the card, I'll be using the word hello. And I cut this out from one of those cut apart sentiments. It had hello ocean. I decided just to use the word hello. So I'll glue the turtles down with some liquid adhesive and I'll be popping up the word hello with some of those thin foam squares. Once I have both of the turtles in place, I'll add the sentiment. And it's hard to tell in the video, but right above the letter E is a teeny tiny fish. It's so sweet. To finish off the card, I'm bringing in some dew drops. I'll put two of them in the upper left hand corner and then three around the plants and the turtles. I'm using an embellishment wand to pick them up since they don't have adhesive on the back. And I'll add just a small drop of liquid adhesive. I like Barely Art liquid glue. So there is my finished card and I did end up making two using this sketch. I love how this turned out. That turtle paper is absolutely adorable. I love all the summery colors included in this collection. Very cheerful. For card design number two, the card sketch is from MFT. It's number 352. For the very background of the card, I'm using some of the yellow watercolor whimsy paper. Then I have two pattern papers. One has lots of little flowers and there's rainbow and fish. And also this strip of white pattern paper with the tiny blue stars. I'll layer those on some dark blue cardstock. I'll add this white strip across the card first. Then I'll be layering this panel on some gold holographic cardstock. And I did use a scallop rectangle die to cut out the center so I could save that for another project. Even with just that eighth of an inch matted layer, it still adds a lot of sparkle. So I'll add some scrap cardstock in that opening just so there isn't a noticeable dip on the front of the card. 
Then I'll layer this panel again on some dark blue cardstock. I'll adhere my card front onto my card base and all of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size. So five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. Before I add this floral panel with all the little rainbows, I will add a scrap piece of cardstock to the upper portion where it goes off of that star strip just to keep it nice and level. Then I'll adhere it in place. And this sketch does have a circle indicated for the image or sentiment. I'll be using one of the cut aparts instead. So this has a little mermaid, some fish and flowers, and the sentiment is dream big little mermaid. Thought that was really sweet. I layered it on the same gold holographic cardstock, and I will be popping it up using some foam dimensional tape. So just remove the release paper and adhere it to the left hand side of the card. Then to finish off the card, I'll bring in some more of the clear dew drops. I think it just works well with this underwater paper collection. I'll add two in the upper right hand corner and three in the lower left hand corner. And there is my finished card. Overall, it's a fairly simple card design, but I think adding those little touches with the dew drops and the holographic cardstock really make a difference. Now moving on to card design number three. I'm using a card sketch from OWH. This is number 200. This is a fun sketch since you can feature an image or some pattern paper in that small rectangle. And it also has the area for your sentiment. I'm using some of the blue watercolor paper for the background. Then I have this fun underwater scene for that smaller rectangle. And it has the sentiment child of the ocean. I think that's really fun. Be layering everything on some blue cardstock. And for the wider strip that goes across the card, I'm using the white paper with the small red starfish, and then just a thin strip of the red watercolor paper, layering those on some red cardstock. So I'll add that strip first. I love the colors on this card, mostly primary colors. I'll layer that background panel on some blue cardstock. That's a little brighter blue than the previous card. It's more of a royal blue color. Put my card front onto a card base. And for this card, I do have just that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. And I did change up the measurements again for this sketch. The sketch does show those fourth of an inch matted layers and I just trimmed them down to an eighth of an inch. That's one thing I love about using card sketches. You can follow them exactly, or you can change them up and really just use them for inspiration. I am adding some of those scrap pieces of cardstock before adhering this small rectangle piece. Put some liquid adhesive on the back and adhere it to the card. For the sentiment on the card, I'll be using one of the sentiment sheets by Paper Bros. This is the Really Rainbow Collection. The blue matches perfectly with this card. And the sentiment I selected is just a card to say you're awesome. I did cut the right side at an angle just for some extra interest. And since I didn't want that sentiment getting lost with all those busy papers, I did layer it on some white shimmer cardstock. Before adhering it to the card, I'll add those scrap pieces of cardstock to the right side where it goes off of that underwater fish pattern paper. I'm using cardstock and also a scrap of the pattern paper. That way it's at the exact same level. And I decided to cover up one of the child of the ocean sentiments. I'll also be adding several of the cut aparts. I have a few of the plants and this sweet little yellow and red fish. I'll tuck the plants behind the sentiment. I am trimming the very bottom so it's straight. And then I'll just glue them in place. I decided to pop up the little fish, so I have some thin foam squares on the back. I'll remove the release paper and adhere it in front of all of those little plants and right above the sentiment. Then to finish off the card, I'll bring in some more of the dew drops. I'll put two of them underneath the sentiment toward the right and one above the sentiment on the left. With all of those busy patterns, I didn't think the card needed anything else. So there is my finished card, and again, I did make two using this sketch. I really like how all three cards turned out, but I think the turtle card is my favorite. Those turtles are adorable. 
Now here's another look at the six cards I made using Paper Roses Underwater Adventure Paper Collection. This collection is so fun, lots of great patterns, cut apart images, and also sentiment. It's perfect for making some fun summery cards. I will have links provided in the description box if you are interested in any of the products I used in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.